episode of You Got Issues, my name is Nadina Differen, and this is the show that's all about you. Now here's how this works. You send in your questions, I bring in some of my friends, and together, I'd say we give you some pretty solid advice. So you ready to get some questions answered? Let's talk. Today we're talking all things beauty and wellness, and my friends today are the lovely award-winning content creator and influencer, Oma J. Hi. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Nadine. Of course. You look stunning. Thanks, baby, you too. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have fitness trainer and Zuba instructor, Sandra. Welcome, Sandra. Hi. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Of course. I'm so glad you guys made it. <laughs> All right, let's get into some questions. We're going to start with beauty first. Okay. Now, this one is relevant to some issues that have been occurring lately. And it says, Are Nigerian products being regulated like international brands? There are a lot of Nigerian beauty products coming out. Is there a body that regulates them? So, to the best of my knowledge, right? Okay, first things first. Shout out to the Nigerian brands putting out makeup because not only are they saving us serious money, mm -hmm. they are also really putting in their best foot out there to make sure that they're giving quality products that fit our weather, the African skin, and everything that just works well with African women. So kudos to the Nigerian brands. Unfortunately, to the best of my knowledge, I do not know of any regulatory body that is regulating these makeup brands. But I will say this. The consumers of the makeup, I mean, even you as a woman, you as a woman, you know, if you don't like something, you will come out and say, I don't like it. Yeah. And I feel like most of the time, as an influencer, you're putting the spot where someone is paying you. So you can't really say, I don't like this product or, you know, these are the things I don't like about the product. But trust me, you cannot pay everybody. So if there's an issue with your product, the makeup artist will stop using you. The lay woman who just wants to look cute mm -hmm. will stop using you. And you have to check yourself. So I think 100%. for now, that's how we, we're doing it. So let the consumers drive the market. Would you like mm -hmm. to add anything? I just, I'm really glad that we can literally have our own makeup because for you to bring out a makeup in Nigeria, you have me in mind and I'm yes. sold out. So as long as it's good, I'm glued to what you have for me yes. compared to when we have to push it outside the country mm -hmm. where they had them in mind, not me in mind. Exactly. So I kind of struggle. On that note, we're going to take a quick break. You're still watching You Got Issues. My name is Nadina Different. Stick around and we'll be back soon. And we are back. You're watching You Got Issues. My name is Nadine, and I'm here with the lovely Omar J and Sandra, a fitness instructor. We have a few more questions to throw at you guys. The first one is, I've been eating healthy for over a month, but I'm only getting bigger and bigger. Are there some unhealthy foods that people eat without realizing? It's very funny when people say, I've been eating healthy and I'm getting tickets. So eating is two ways. You know, like there's calories in salad, right? There's calories in pepper soup. Yeah. There is nothing that there's no calories. It's just the level of calories. So even in the morning, like, oh, two slices of bread and then with egg in the afternoon, let me take small eba and soup in the evening. Let me take small rice. <laughs> Why are you calling me out? <laughs> and then you have just been packing calves. Packs, calves in the morning, calves in the afternoon. Yeah. Even though they're small, but guess what? It adds up eventually. So it means that if you are going to have tea, and probably scrambled egg with some veggies in it. If you want to do without the bread, that's fine, or with the bread. Then for lunch, I'm like, okay, what can I have for lunch? Maybe I can have like a chickpea, sorry, Western word, Nigeria, <laughs> yeah, moi moi. Uh -huh. You have like, accent. Like, <laughs> like a moi moi, do you understand? Mm. As not with Gary, like now, moi moi and fish or chicken. Yeah. Then dinner, you can just have pepper soup, not pepper soup and rice. Do you understand? Like, so if you're eating healthy, you have to balance it. You have to eat. It's, it means you have to, you want to lean out. You have to eat in deficit, meaning that you have to eat less than what you what work out. Burns, Do you understand? Yeah. So you're going to eat, but it's just a little. Mm. It's not like you're eating, like it's almost like you're feeding the body drugs. Who takes drugs to get full? Yeah. Nobody. Mm -hmm. So just eat the food like you're taking drugs. You don't fool. You're not fool. Just take water, get something, or take some healthy fruits. And that's it. Mm. But you know how, and then some people like, you know, I eat 30, and then you have two bowl of salads in one sitting. Oh, yeah. By the time you can... tasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, that's a lot. Yeah. You can have a bowl, and it will sustain you for some time. Mm -hmm. And then some people like, oh, I eat in the morning. Then they, they'll snack, they'll snack and snack and snack. Yeah, like, oh, it's healthy. But the calories are counting. White bread is like 
79 calories for one and you take four times three times four but i'm not a calorie counter for me i always say it's a balance if you don't eat when you're not hungry you know some of us just eat not that we are hungry mm -hmm. do you understand mm -hmm. so it's it's because it's like it's a fun thing to do when you're bored when no, you're happy, it's when not. Somebody, you know, just go and it's shower you okay <laughs> No, it's not discipline. <laughs> there's nothing I cannot eat. So when mm -hmm. people say, oh, dude, there's nothing I cannot eat. I just will not eat it every day. Mm, it's yeah. a balance. You're not mm. a prisoner. My type of workout, eating habit will not change. Yeah. It will not change for you. All you would do, it's a balance. You reduce it. Like, okay, you like rice too much. I'm like, you can't do it without rice. Yeah. I'm like, okay, you only have four days to eat rice. Let's start with that. So yeah. choose your four days. Yeah. The day you can't eat rice, you can't eat rice. That makes sense. And then if you survive, and I let's switch it to two times a week. It's just for you to get the discipline. The moment you get the discipline, you could literally see rice and turn it down. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm not hungry. Or like you, you're turning rice down. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no. Nah. Because old. why? It's, <laughs> not, it's not like you don't want to, but you have control now. You don't have to. How can I build my fashion and beauty blog in this saturated market? You know what? I really love to hear this, right? Because... I feel like when I started doing my whole beauty blogging and whatever, it was kind of like different. So you kind of think, oh, the market is not saturated. But the truth is that I don't think there's any market that isn't really saturated. One good example I really love to use is Cardi B, right? When mm -hmm. Cardi B came out as a female rapper, I mean, how many... There were, there were plenty of female rappers. Let's not play, you know. But now you, you, you just have to find what sets you apart. There are beauty bloggers that are waking up every single day, opening YouTube, opening TikTok, opening Snapchat, whatever it might be. Don't ever take that thing out of your head that is saturated. Who is, who is telling you that it's saturated, right? So just follow who, the people you look up to, the people you want to be like. Talk to people. I feel like a lot of people always get scared. Like, I can't approach this person. Why? Because they have like 50,000 followers. Sometimes that person's DM is empty and they're just snooping around. Like, who's going to pop into my DM today. So ask questions, talk to people. And the truth is that there's there's no other you. Yeah. There's only one you out of like billions of people. So people want to really just see what you have to offer. The way I might explain my beauty technique is not the way she might explain her beauty technique. It's not the same way you will explain your beauty mm -hmm. technique. Go for it. And if you're doing it, if you're afraid, do it afraid and just see what's on the other side. Have fun with it. Just like with fitness, you're telling us to pair the things that we love. Pair the things that you love. If you love makeup, do makeup. If you love hair, do hair. If you yeah. love fashion, do fashion. Go for it. And the sky is nothing but your stepping stone. I love it. Facts. I love it. And even though it's, even if it is saturated, they will yes. make space for you. They will make space, space for you. They will make space for you. Ah, please. On that space. note, thank you guys so much for stopping by. This thank has been a great episode. Us. It has been You Got Issues from Spice TV. My name is Nadine Odifran. If you want to catch me, you can follow me on the Nadine Odifran on Instagram. If they want to follow you guys, where can they find you? Oh, you can find me at J Brand on TikTok, on Instagram, and on YouTube. And you can find me at Sandra Saibovo on IG, Facebook, and on TikTok is Sunday Lights. Just plenty of workouts. So if you're ready to work out, <laughs> come true. I'm coming through. <laughs> This has been You Got Issues on Spice TV. If you want to follow us, find us at Spice TV Africa on every social media platform. And if you have a question that you want to send in, send to our DMs with the hashtag YGI. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.